on. It's about uh, six o'clock right now. We got up at 5.45. Uh, just getting ready to get going for the morning. Um, it's still a little bit too dark to get on the river. Um, might be a little hard to see. Um, difficult to see debris in the river for probably the next 15, 20 minutes. But engine checks are all done. Got some sprinkles in the area this morning. I can see on the radar bands, it's remnants of Hurricane Laura that are sweeping up. So, um, but shouldn't be too heavy of a rainy day. Um, yeah, so we're, we're gonna push hard today to try to get um, to Diversion channel or, channel or Beyond, which is an anchorage. Um, it's about 120 miles, uh, depending on how much speed we make. We don't have any more locks and dams. There are no more locks and dams on the Mississippi all the way to to uh, New Orleans. So that's good. I uh, don't have any weights there. So at 10 hours, at 12 miles an hour, um, that'll be 120 miles for us. You know, could, could be in there as early as 4 o'clock this afternoon. So we'll see how that is. Heather's making some breakfast for us. Morning, Heather. Morning. She's not a morning person. Look at the camera and say hi. She's faking it. All right, talk to you guys later. Well, it's about uh, seven o'clock. We are well underway. Just wanted to show you some of the mansions that line the river here. Unbelievable up there. That one is absolutely incredible. Feel like I'm in <clears throat> in the Ozarks with Marty Bird here looking at these houses, but uh, yeah, pretty incredible. Beautiful morning. Got some tow traffic out here. We're moving along to get past the tow, but it should be a beautiful day today. Here is, uh, just wanted to show you real quick, another four wide, five wide, five barges wide by seven barges long tow. Now that's the biggest tow I've ever seen. That's 35 barges pushed by a single tow down here. I guess with no more locks from uh, here, here to uh, turn down the radio. From here to New Orleans, they can push them as big as they want. I did not know a tow could push that many barges. Five wide by seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Thirty. Thirty-five. Not thirty. I said thirty-five. I said thirty-five. Thirty-five barges pushed by one tow. Amazing. We found Wilson! Wilson! Wilson's floating on the Mississippi River. We found Wilson. Yeah, I don't think Wilson was a soccer ball. Wilson was what? A volleyball. Shit. That was a soccer ball. Thought we found Wilson. I was going to put out an Amber Alert. Hey, good day everyone. It's about 11.20 in the morning. Uh, we've been on the boat now, on the river, not on the road, on the river for about four and a half hours or so. Um, we're making pretty good time. We've got about 50 miles left until the first option for Anchorage tonight. Um, we've got a good kick from the river. We're going about 13 miles an hour. Uh, so we're about four hours out. Uh, that would put us in there about 320-ish. Um, so we've got to make a decision at that point, do we stop at 320 in the afternoon or do we push another 33 miles to the next anchorage, um, which gives us an easy day of boating tomorrow into um, by the Kentucky Lakes. So trying to figure that out. Uh, we'll see how the rest of the day goes. And it's, it's kind of raining and drizzling. Um, but we've been playing some cribbage. I just skunked Heather a little bit ago, so that's good. What's the score, babe? 16-10. 16-10. 
1610, so one for me. Alright. Um, we should push on, if we can, I want to push on to the further Anchorage. Because yeah. it is so, this is so boring. Yeah, I it is so boring right now. And it, I just want to push through this and get rid of this part. Yeah. It's very industrial. There's not much to see. Um, so, not an exciting part of the river. As you can see, um, you know, it's just kind of more of the same. We've got a lot of rain clouds in the area, industrial barge work going on. Um, all the gauges look good. You know, we're running that way. Fuel economy, we just went on plane for about 20 minutes. Um, to put some, we had a real wide part of the river with no current, so I wanted to put some distance there. There were a bunch of barges and coming up on our backside, so did that. You can see we've gone 104 miles since our last fill up. Uh, boated about 10 hours and we've averaged 4.1 gallons per hour. That just bumped up. We were averaging about 3 gallons per hour um, and about 3.3 miles to the gallon, um, and so we lowered that by going on plane so um, yeah otherwise everything is going good and uh, we'll update you a little bit later so video update uh, let's see it's 310 in the afternoon paying attention here I was you're on texting camera my Tina shout out to you um, so yeah we are we were gonna, one of two anchorages tonight we were gonna anchor out at, one was called Little Diversion. It's kind of a cut into the Mississippi River, place to anchor. We pushed beyond that. We got to it at about three o'clock and we've still got a good four hours of boating daylight left. And tomorrow, we don't have any locks today, but tomorrow as we head up the Ohio River, we're gonna have three locks and We've decided to push on to the second anchorage, which is in 30, let's see, we are at mile marker 40 and it's at mile marker seven. So 33 miles from now, um, we're going 12.1 miles an hour. So within three hours by 6 p.m. we'll be at the next anchorage. That will save us about three and a half to four hours worth of boating in the morning. And we can use that time on the lock and dams in case we get delayed. So. It's still boring. Yeah, it's effing boring, man. Today was really a long, hard day. Uh, it's just, uh, I'll show you when we're done here, but it's just wide open nothingness. There's no, yeah, I see that. We're still dodging debris in the river, so we're keeping our eyes out for sticks and logs in the river. Um, there's no river towns. All day long, we've passed through two small towns. No city docks, nowhere to stop. Um, and so it just it continues on. Um, yeah, anything else, Heather? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Cribbage is going well. It is not going well. That's a matter of opinion. Well, no, because now we're at zero, zero. You want to need a... Oh. You want to need a we reset the score at 17... 1711, we reset the score. So now we're zero, zero. Give Heather a chance again. Um, kind of overcast rain, raining day. I'll show you the river and show you the boat, but uh, we'll do one last video tonight when we get to our anchorage, show you that process and where we're gonna anchor out. We hope that it's good. Little diversion was, we passed by it and it was, you know, it didn't look great. I mean, it would have been a safe anchorage, but the river's low and it's not moving fast and so the water looked pretty stagnant. There was a lot of algae on the top and all of that was pooling in there. So hopefully the next one's a little bit better, but if not, we'll we'll make that happen. Um, all right, we'll talk to you a little in a little bit. I'll show you what the outside looks like. So again, just river. There's really nothing Nothing to see, nothing around, rainy overcast. Heather. Sorry, what? She's been on her phone all damn day. I have nothing else to do. 
Um, so all gauges look good. You know, like I said before, watching pressures, watching temperatures and engine pressures, those all look good. So we went on plane for about 25 minutes to uh, make sure we could get to the next anchorage really well, or with a plenty of time and daylight. So we burned quite a bit of fuel. We're up to 5.3 gallons per hour. We've gone 162 miles since we filled up. Uh, we've boated a total of 13.6 hours. You know, so 5.3 times 13.6, doing math publicly is not my strong suit, but 65, 66 gallons of fuel used so far. Um, I still don't know whether or not my gauge is reading correctly. We're at 71%. That's, honestly, it should read about 80% right now, but we'll continue to gauge it as we go and fill up and so. But we have plenty of fuel. We can run the generator tonight and have electricity and air. And so going about 11.5 miles an hour, uh, the river's wide and slow and yeah, about 20 feet of water under us. Everything else is good. Talk to you later. <laughs> Hi. How'd it go? Um, anchoring? Yeah, anchoring. Oh, anchoring wasn't bad. Just, um, like you said earlier, I don't know what, how much sleep I'm going to get. So Me I'm going to be worried that Me the too. anchor is going to fail on us. We'll start dragging. Hopefully not. It seems to be doing fine right now. We're not moving it at all. Yeah, we'll watch it for the next three or four hours. Um, I back down on it twice, pulled the anchor in. I think we should be good. So we'll have to, there's no storms in the area tonight. So Heather checked, <clears throat> should be a quiet night. So there's like a little cove area over here, but yeah. it was getting shallow, getting directly yeah. in there. So we are at the mouth of it. Yeah. So where we are anchored, if you look on your map and you're, if you see Cairo, Illinois, and then you're gonna see Interstate 57, that, and we are just west, I mean literally just west of Interstate 57. We the, can see the interstate. I'll, I'll show you the bridge and stuff that we're so, at, so. That's where we're anchoring for the night. That's where we're anchoring for tonight. <laughs> so I'll show it to you and then this will wrap up day nine video. We went a uh, hundred and thirty, miles long today day. long day long boring day long boring day <laughs> but we made it to the second anchorage so right now we're only about 56 54 miles to paducah. to paducah which is the plan for tomorrow so but well, we had we got to go further than paducah. right but we've got three locks to get through and we wanted to give ourselves a lot of time that's why we pushed through to this one so it's 6 10 6 15 right now we made it before sunset i'll show you the anchorage and then um yeah, that'll wrap up day nine, and I'll try to post this tonight if we have cell service. Otherwise, I may have we to post should. it. I think we have two bars. Okay, so it may take a while, but we'll try to post this. I'll show you around a little bit, and then uh, that'll conclude today's video. So, all right, have thanks a good everybody. Evening, guys. Bye. Bye. So here's the anchorage. Uh, we dropped anchor. We've got about 50 feet of chain out in uh, eight feet of water. So we've got a six seven to one scope that means seven for for every foot of depth i've got seven feet of horizontal chain out so uh, with no wind or weather you know seven to one scope should be fine um you can see there's the bridge that we were talking about um but these rocks i'll be watching very closely what the boat does over the next few hours make sure we're not moving at all I'm going to be taking a very close look at where we are according to the shore, probably that tree right there. Make sure we're still at that tree in about two hours. So, all right, guys, uh, hope you enjoyed today's video and we'll talk to you all later.